Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing the trend that is just going all over the internet and it's where you recreate a beauty guru's makeup tutorial. Now I chose Jaclyn Hill because she was the first person that I ever watched on YouTube that I really, really like genuinely learned something from. Um, and I started doing my makeup like her and I just learned a lot of things from her so that is why I chose her for today's video. I love her and she's just helped me out a lot when it came to makeup. I used to watch her all the time. So that is why I have a bare scary face right now. So one of the videos that I chose was one of her, it was like a drugstore affordable fall makeup look and I loved the way it looked and she did use her Jaclyn Hill palette and a lot of the products she used in this video I actually own so it worked out perfect that I chose this video because there's a lot of drugstore products and I just think it's better that way because a lot of you guys can follow along as well because these are a lot of products that are very accessible to get. So hopefully I do a good job following this tutorial. I'm going to try to put the video down here so that you guys can watch along with me. We'll see how that goes. It's really hard to like edit all that kind of stuff in there so we'll see if I can make it work. Hopefully I can. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see me try to recreate Jaclyn Hill's makeup tutorial then let's just jump right in. Alright, so this is the video that I chose. Yeah. It sounds so weird, but then I'm like, but maybe people don't know that I am Jacqueline. So the majority of everything on my face is the drugstore, and whatever isn't drugstore is affordable. I have the first time to my skin. To okay, I nice have that. Primer. So we're gonna put some of that on the skin. I do already have my moisturizer on, by the way, because my skin is super dry. So of that on here, and yes, my skin and my hands are a lot tanner than my face because I don't. I don't self tan my face because I'm just washing it so much that I just use a darker foundation to kind of like match my body if that makes sense. Alright, moving on. I'm finally going to be using this Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. It says it's a two-in-one foundation and concealer. I've heard such great things about it but I haven't actually given it like a real try. Okay, so she's going in to the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, which I do have. So I have warm beige and creamy vanilla. By the way it feels in the back of my hand, like I feel like it's gonna be really full coverage and nice. I kind of miss not having nails. Like when I have like this broken I will nail say this foundation does feel super thick. I have used it before. It is a good foundation, but it is super thick. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the coverage on this foundation is absolutely ridiculous. I agree, the coverage of this foundation is really, really nice. Okay, so now we're starting to match our body a little bit. Don't look as scary or dead. All right, so now we have that blended out, and then she goes into concealer. Infallible Pro Glow Powders, the Glowmer Powders and Concealer. So I was really, really excited about the concealers right here, so I'm gonna use these today. I'm gonna try shade four. So she goes in with the L'Oreal infallible concealer and I watched this video when she posted it and she ended up wiping that concealer off because it burned her under eyes and I 100% agree with that when I used that concealer my under eyes were burning so I believe she goes in with a ColourPop concealer if I remember correctly start off with the ColourPop no filter I haven't tried this yet so we shall see okay so she goes in with the ColourPop um no filter concealer which is a very affordable concealer it is six dollars straight I've never had that kind of reaction before and I have really sensitive skin. I have been obsessed with the movie Friends with Benefits recently. It's what's playing on my iPad right now, just sitting over in the corner. I go through phases where I watch like different movies as I get ready. Ow! Crap! My under eye really hurts! Please let me know in the comments down below if any of you are... It doesn't look like she highlighted down her nose, which is what I usually do. So I don't know if she just didn't record that part, but I'm just gonna do what she's doing. And I'm not going to apply it down my nose, uh, because she didn't, so we're not going to do that today. <laughs> this foundation is more of like a kind of yellowy tone, and my concealer is super light, so it looks kind of crazy right now because of the color. So I'm just going to bring a little bit down my nose just to kind of even out this area. All right, so now we are all concealed. What does she set the face with? I'm gonna just go in with the trusty L'Oreal 
L'Oreal True Match powder. Just how I've been applying powder recently. I use like a smaller band. Her face does look flawless. Like so I don't have the True Match, but I do have this CoverGirl powder that works pretty well. So I'm going to go in with this and I'm going to use this to set my face. Okay, so I do have a, a similar blush. I do have a similar brush that she's using, so I'm going to try this. I've never actually set my face with a brush like this. I usually use a, a cosmetics brush like this or my e.l.f. one, so we're just going to do what she says and lightly set over the face with this. And I just like barely pat the powder onto my face, and it just like allows me to keep a glow throughout the day as opposed to making myself so matte that it's like chalkboard matte, so I just like barely touch my face with the powder just to set it, but not really fully mattify. Alright, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. It looks like she's going in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Pencil. Um, I have the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, but she looks like she has like the bigger one. But this is the only one I have, so I am going to go in and fill in my brows with this one. Really high hopes for this. Fingers crossed. I am not against this. All right, brows are now done, and I have to say, I finally have a drugstore brow winner right here. I crown thee the winner of the drugstore. Okay, so I think this is as best as my brows are going to get. This is a pretty good brow pencil, but I love my Anastasia um, brow definer, but this actually is a very good option for an affordable product. Yes, I agree. The only thing is, if it's spoolie on this, it's not a strong sniff, it's not a sniff spoolie. Look at that, I just love this city. Before I go in with my eyeshadow, I'm just going to put some transparent powder all over my face really quickly to catch any fallout because I'm going to be using a lot of product. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp this. And this, I'm being real with you guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, transparent powder I'm using right now is not from the drugstore, it's just what's sitting on my vanity, but any transparent powder will work. This Alright, so I'm going to use the um, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I think she's doing this to create a barrier for when she does her eyeshadow, um, so that if she gets any fallout, it kind of just falls into the um, powder and not all over the foundation. So we are going to do that. I'm going to grab this palette right here that was created by something. Alright, first shade that we're going with today is Creamsicle. Ooh, these nails, I am sorry. Okay, so we're going to go in. Creamsicle on a fluffy brush and just go ahead and toss that in the transition area of my eye. This is because once we have on all those other colors, this color is just going to kind of beam through from the very bottom and just tie it all together and give it like that aww oh, that it needs. I go in with the shade Cupy. We're in the center of the palette. It's a really, really mustardy brown. Top of that color, just a little bit beneath it. I always start off with the lightest color up the highest, and then I go darker down, down, down. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, I know that I just started, started this look, but I can already tell, tell that I'm going to be freaking obsessed. obsessed. Like, like, you know when you just feel it? Like, I'm just feeling it right now. I'm going to go in with the shade Park right here. In my last video, I called it Central Perk, and that's because it's what the I wanted to originally name it because of the show Friends, but I couldn't. So we call it Central Park instead, but that's where it did come from. So I still accidentally call it Central Perk all the time. <laughs> I'm going to mix it with a little bit of mocha just because I don't want it to be too, too dark. Alright, so now for the fun part. I'm going to go in with the shade Diva, which is right, right here. You have no idea what a pain this color was to develop. I went back and forth on this so many times because I wanted to create a green that did not just look exclusive to Christmas, like a year-round green that was really a green. forest green. Hey guys, the camera stopped recording and I don't know <sighs> what it did, so hopefully it got me putting this eyeshadow on. Hopefully it didn't cut that part out. All right, now I'm going to go in with the shade Enchanted, which is this really, really right deep here. matte. Sorry, you should focus. Really, really deep matte green right here. I'm going to put that on a fluffy brush and just put that right in my crease, kind of over top of where those two colors meet. Okay. Very, like, aqua with a green undertone in it. I just on a fluffy brush. 
brush, I'm just going to pat that. Which pool really, part is right really, here? Really lightly, actually, but less than that. Like really, really lightly on that outer corner with the shimmery green and the matte green and the I'm just going to wipe all this away. Ooh, this is a lot. All right, I'm just going to hit the brow bone with some highlight. I'm using the first shade in the palette, which is in light. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with Creamsicle and Pukey, these two shades, and just mix them together on a pencil brush. All right, and then I'm going to take Central Park, that dark brown, on a stiff brush like this. I'm going to put it really tight on my lash line. Okay, so I don't have a white eyeliner, but I do have this Benefit Highbrow um, kind of like pinky nude pencil, so that's what we're going to use. Normally, I like to do black liner because my eyes just, I don't know, I like to define them with black liner, but I'm going to use this because she is, so we're going to do that. I feel like that like ties the look together, like it brings it to where I want it to be. Alright, let me put on some mascara really quickly and I'm going to pop on some false lashes. You totally do not have to do false lashes if you're comfortable with that. But I'm not because I have just trained myself to always think that I need a lash. Yes, okay, so girl. Now, okay, so she did put um, mascara and lashes on, so I'm going to do that and then we'll be right back to do the face. Okay, so now we're moving on to the face. Find my butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. It's my favorite drugstore bronzer ever. It smells, it smells so good. The NYC so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them both because she was going to use this one. I'm going to use this one first and then go over this one because this one is a little bit lighter. I really want like a mauve blush shaded in my no, collection. This is one that I can find. So this is the mauve blush that I found in my collection from the drugstore. This is by Wet n Wild. It's any color, mellow wine. So I'm going to use this because she is kind of going for a more mauve toned blush. So that is what I'm going to use. I'm not really getting much pigment from this blush. Girl, you need Wet n Wild. To be honest, which is weird. This I is really pigmented. Elf blushes before in the past and I've always really liked them. A little too pigmented. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this NYX one. Let's see about this right here. This is definitely way more coral. This is in the shade Pink the Town. For highlight, I am thinking I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this Girl, goes. I, I haven't it. used this before, but I think I was a lot tanner than this, so I don't know how this is going to work with my skin tone currently, but let's find out. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. I have so much texture on this side of my face, I cannot get over it. Like, I'm just covering texture on my left side. So now for my lips, I'm going to start off by going in with Kat Von D. I'm just in a Kat Von D mood recently, I have to say. I'm going to go... Okay, so she applied some Kat Von D liquid lipstick, and then I remember she realized, because I did watch this video before, um, she realized that she didn't... Um, it wasn't drugstore, so she went in with a L'Oreal one. Alright, so for mauve lip, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color Trap. I hope it's similar to what she has on her lips now, um, because I don't have that color. So I'm just gonna line my lips quick before I use this with the L'Oreal um, lip liner. This is in the color, this is in the color 110. Just gonna line my lips with this. So this liquid lipstick is actually very, very similar to the one that she used in the video. So if you are looking for a very affordable 
um, liquid lipstick. Get ColourPop Trap. It is the perfect like purpley mauve. Very similar to what she has on in the tutorial. All right, now I'm just going to set my face and I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. All right, so she sets her face with the Maybelline Master Chrome Setting Spray. I don't have that, so I'm just going to spray my face with my Morphe Setting Spray. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I think that it came out pretty good. I will say that Jacqueline's lighting is obviously different than mine, so her eyeshadows really, really pop, especially the green one. Like, you can really see the iridescence in it. And with my lighting, it doesn't really pick up the actual, like, sparkle that's in that green. Not sparkle, but you know what I mean, like, the iridescence. And on her camera, you can really see, like, every little detail because she does have a better setup and a better quality than my camera, but I tried to do as best as I can. Um, I think that it came out pretty good. I think the lip is pretty spot on for it to be a different color than she used. Definitely check out ColourPop, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see another one of these and let me know what YouTuber you want me to follow down below and I would love to do that. But I had a lot of fun doing this and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you guys think I did a good job, if you think it looks similar to what Jacqueline's looked like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!